everyone, welcome back to another episode of Reality Voting. So today is just a quick video, um, kind of project related, not really. I want to talk a little bit today about Cavacil. I'm going to put this up here. It's Cavacil or Celica. There's other channels out there that go into further depth on this. I want to just point out a few issues of where we're located, what country we're in, and I guess due to circumstances in the world right now, why this is so hard to come by. So all my suppliers I normally get this from are sold out of it at this point. I'm low on it, I needed it for some projects that we have coming up. And this is made by Fasco Epoxies. I'm not a paid promotion. This is the only stuff that I could get that was relatively inexpensive and with the quickest shipping to me. So a little bit about this. So what I learned, something new, is the stuff that I previously had, and let me see if I can get a shot of this here, one second. Okay, so I'm back. So these were the differences I wanted to point out. Uh, this one here, this co comes from Jellicoe International. This is the stuff I've been using uh, the whole time I've been playing with this stuff. Uh, so, again, Jellicoe International. It's Cavacil. And then, one second here. If you notice right here, so Cavacil Colloidal Silica. This is Cavacil, and this is fumed silica. So, when I'm searching for this stuff, it's not available right now from Jellico International. It is available in the US. If you're watching this in the US, it's available down there, not an issue. Um, Total Boat 2, they have a bunch of stuff. That's another thing we'll touch on going forward, but not in this video. So, Fasco epoxies again, fume silica. So my issue this week was, this is all the stuff that I could find, but I've never realized before that there's fume silica or colloidal silica. So I did my research, dug, dug in a few nights to see what the difference is. Apparently from what I can get, and if I'm wrong, somebody please correct me, that would be great, but the only difference between the fume silica and the colloidal silica is the way that they're manufactured and what they're, a what they're a byproduct of. So that being said, you should be able to, both brands of silica will have the exact same features to them. They're both used as a filler for epoxy to thicken or resin to thicken uh, to whatever viscosity you need basically. So just want to clear that up for anybody who was like me and geez, never had this issue before and now all of a sudden it's an issue. So shouldn't be an issue, fume silica versus colloidal silica, both the same, all good. Just on another quick note, and I'm not sure, I, I'm thinking now that this probably goes back to availability of stuff right now worldwide. All that I could get in Canada right now was the fume silica. There was absolutely zero availability of the colloidal silica. I'm not sure why. I guess again, being different manufacturing, different byproducts, that could be why different areas of manufacturing are shut down or limited. Not sure exactly what it is. Bigger market in the US, smaller market in Canada give or take, uh, however it is. But anyways, just wanted to let everybody know that. And I guess the other side of things too right now is this right now is 100% more ex expensive right now than this is. And not comparing apples to apples here. Again, this is something I can order from a supplier. I get it at a dealer cost. This unfortunately had to come from Amazon. I don't mind dealing with Amazon. I have nothing against Amazon. I do like supporting local or my suppliers as much as possible. 
However, this is where I had to go for this. So I understand whoever's selling this has to make money. I get that, but from the end user result, this is for a shop, it's not personal use. This is being used on customers' pro uh, projects or boats. So everything right now is going, inflation is through the roof. So this is again, 100% more expensive than this right now. So that being said, everybody's wondering, oh my, you know, the repair costs and everything are going up right now and everything else. So this is the issue I'm facing across the board right now is all of my stuff is gone through the roof by a minimal of 25%. My operating costs have gone up substantially. So whenever you're bringing your boat in to get repaired right now, yes, it is going to be a more expensive repair bill for reasons like this. 100% more expensive than this. Obviously that adds a lot more cost to your repair. And that's just not on Cavasil. I mean, that's the inexpensive side of things, but epoxy, gel coat, paint, everything. Just everything flat out has gone up. So again, this is more of a video just for people who need to know the difference between these two. I think that covers it. If I'm wrong, or if you have other info on it, leave it down in the comments, let me know. Other than that, thanks for watching. Short video, just to bring that up. We got some projects coming up here in the coming week or so, so you guys are gonna be involved with that. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button. I really appreciate that right now in advance. And other than that, it's still cold up here, people. Um, not minus 40 today, but we're hovering around minus 20. Still in snow pants. Sucks, waiting for boating season. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a great day.